I'm going to roast off some sausages, which I'm going to do something really special with. And then I've got some root veg here. I'm just going to drain them. I've cooked those for about 15, 20 minutes. In this pan, I want some olive oil, just a swig. And then I want a nice knob of butter. And then I've got some chestnuts. These are vac-pack chestnuts. And as soon as they start to foam, I go in with my winter veg, straight in there. The best thing for this is to use a potato masher and just sort of put your weight on it, scrunch it all up. I've bought some good quality sausages and what I'm doing is I'm unravelling the sausage and then when it's unravelled, just squeeze that into the gap where it came, drizzle it with a little olive oil. I want to get rosemary and sprinkle it all the way over. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the beef on top squeeze them together and then all I do is roll it up like a snail. Poke this through the sausage, through like that. Now, with the onions we're going to make the most incredible gravy. So in the oven I've got it on about 220 Celsius, 430 Fahrenheit and I've put a nice roasting tray in here to heat up and I want to get some olive oil in here. I'm going to put this now in an oven and then this is on a medium heat now. If I just turn this over, if you look here, can you see it colouring there? What I want to do is every five minutes come back to this and as soon as it go goes golden on the bottom side, I'll turn it over again and flatten it out again. Jamified, caramelised, beautiful onions, sausage and juice on here. Bubble. tray, back on here on full whack. A little dessert spoon of flour, cheap balsamic vinegar and I want you to put about a quarter of this bottle in there and then in with some vegetable stock or chicken stock. As soon as this has come to the boil and thickened we're ready to go. Slice your sausage, get a nice wadge of your lovely bubble and squeak Take a load of that beautiful roasted sausage. Some of that lovely onion gravy. Happy days.